So just when I was thinking this is all lost and how in the world am I going to end this video? I was going to end, actually title it, Some Days You Eat the Bear and Some Days the Bear Eats You and I'm really feeling like on this little project here, the bear ate me, but uh, wow, look what I got out of it. Hey, Howard here at 82 Maple, and we've got an interesting little project going on. Uh, my mini excavator is in the shop for some uh, much needed uh, warranty repairs and a complete servicing. And uh, we started something yesterday. We call it the uh, three year forest project. That is forest with double R. We named a tree here that uh, is going, the use of it and how I go about uh, using it is going to be a three-year series of videos likely. Uh, it's a Douglas fir and we're going to use it to create all sorts of interesting things and I'm striving for about 95% of the uh, utilization including the branches. We'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. But it came out for a reason. We've got to level a piece of ground on the property uh, to keep a garage from flooding, from water kind of cascading towards a, a second house that's on here. And the tree was right in the way of us dealing with all of that. Uh, and so out of respect for the fact that the tree was here first, we wanted to honor it. So again, that's the project. But here I am today without a mini excavator needing to uh, dig into some virgin ground. So I'm putting the little box blade to use here behind the um, uh, 1953 Ferguson. Great little unit. You can see I've already dropped the tines to the middle position. I might have to drop them some more. And uh, wow, this summer thing. Sunglasses, first time this year. Uh, and now we're gonna actually see uh, my farmer tan here because I haven't worn really much else than a, than a short sleeve shirt. And I finally got some uh, shorts here that carry some of the stuff that I need to carry day to day. I keep a little uh, uh, pocket level on me. Um, I keep a little carpenter's pencil on me. Great for a number of things, including the fact that it's uh, half an inch wide and a quarter inch thick, allows for some quick measurements. For serious measurements over and above that, hey, I finally found and dug up the tape measure my dad bought probably in the 70s. Fits perfect in my pocket, being I'm not carrying a carpenter apron everywhere I go. 10 foot tape measure, and uh, I'm gonna throw in a photo of the tree we took down. It's a little over 30 inches one in one direction and a little over 20 inches in the other direction. I laid a, a quick tape measure on it. What else have we got going? The usual box cutter, but uh, today it's about the tools. Uh, summer, all of this is going to be employed. Hey, there goes the always wonderful Coral Dawn taking one of our guests for a ride on Kinnicky today. Um, and uh, let's fire up the little Ferguson and go see if we can do some serious work with it. Wow, well, that was interesting. So, not everything we do works perfectly around here. Far from it. 
probably more fails than successes at the end of the day. But uh, there's clearly some stuff there that the stump grinder just wasn't able to get to. And there's going to be no substitute for the mini excavator. So I think we're going to limit the uh, damage to men, uh, uh, equipment and otherwise for the day and uh, kind of mop up with the front end loader and uh, uh, clean that up a little bit and uh, there's gonna have to be some surgery there. Uh, not sure that I expected anything terribly different, but uh, hey, it's always fun, particularly on a day like today. Well, here we go. We're gonna go mop up that mess and wait for when I have the mini excavator home to finish it up. This really underscores how useful that little mini excavator is. Uh, there's just some things that can't be done without it or it takes a lot of effort to do without it. I'm taking the little uh, 1025 over here to clean this up because we've got some guests here in the house and it's bad enough that I'm driving a tractor around here, but that beep up back, uh, beep up, Whoa, back up beeper on the 4066. It'd be enough to drive anyone over the brink. Uh, it's so, so sharp sounding. You know what I mean. And uh, so I'll, I'll clean this up a bit. And uh, yeah, the mini, I, I'm going to need it to pull the piles of dirt away from the fence where I can't get in with the blade. So I'm just gonna hang this camera right off the front here, do a couple of swipes, get the worst of it cleaned up so that it's usable, and then we'll tackle it in two weeks when I've got the mini bag. As usual, you know what the supply chain issues are. That was a one day job. The parts were delayed, then they came in, then they were the wrong parts. Hey, you know the whole script, you're living it. Let's do this. Who would have thought? I just had a little moment here. First of all, I thought that this piece was firmly attached to one of the roots, and I must have knocked it looser with the uh, box blade than I thought. And then I'm sitting here working around it, and I go, hey, that's a rock sticking out of there. Well, it's not a rock. It's a big old ugly knot. I'm hanging on to this. This came from forest and uh, there's gonna be some nice slicing in here. If I do this upright, it's gonna end up on a shelf somewhere. It's awesome. So just when I was thinking this is all lost and how in the world am I going to end this video? I was going to end, it, actually title it, some days you eat the bear and some days the bear eats you and I'm really feeling like on this little project here, the bear ate me, but uh, wow, look what I got out of it. And uh, this is gonna be fantastic. I'll shine it up and it'll be the subject of a future video. And uh, there's still a bunch of ugly roots here, but I thought that this was a monster root. I've got some small stuff here. I'm still gonna wait for the mini excavator. I'll tackle it 
bring along my trusty uh, Milwaukee hacksaw with a good all-purpose blade. We'll bust some of this out of here. I'm going to tidy this up for today. It's not like I have nothing to do around here. And uh, hey, thanks for being part of the journey. And thanks for uh, sharing uh, not only the successes, but the failures or apparent failures. And as my dad was fond of saying, you never really know whether uh, what you're looking at today is a success or failure. Look back in five years and see uh, uh, how funny it is that many of your successes uh, or what you thought were successes were the foundation for uh, uh, a less than pleasant experience. And some of the things you looked at as abject failures at the time turned out to be the building blocks. In some small way, this represents that. Hey, stay tuned, more to come. Hey, I just couldn't resist. Uh, you know, I threw in a quick before photo here, but I just had to go to work and clean this up a little bit. So I took my uh, trusty wire brush here and uh, cleaned it up, took an air nozzle and uh, blasted it, made sure I got all the dirt off. Then I uh, ran it across the uh, jointer here, making sure all dirt was removed so I don't wreck those blades. Took great care. That took a few minutes. Then I hit it with the sander and just some 60 grit paper. And here we go. It cleaned up rather nicely. Still really, really rough. Like this is a project for many, many winter evenings. Uh, where I kind of get it around to where I want to. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to put it someplace where it dries out real well. And I think it's pretty cool. It's a little battle scarred. Hit it with the uh, rippers on the box blade. Hit it with the bucket on the tractor. And I think I've got evidence of it being uh, nicked by a chainsaw. But uh, there we go. And even uh, Kaniki is interested. Hey, Kaniki. What do you think? Yeah, check it out, Kaneki. <laughs> there we go. Okay, stay tuned. But I am just stoked. This is the one of the unintended outcomes of uh, Project Forest, and uh, it came early. Hey, you know what? It's just so awesome to find something like this and have the tools to make a little something out of it just on the fly, super spontaneously. I'm throwing a link in down below to a little project I undertook between uh, meetings one afternoon while we were still in Langley. Uh, and the result was a great little mini picnic table and bench set uh, for a couple of granddaughters, all in under 28 minutes. And uh, hey, stay tuned, more to come. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being part of the journey.